Hello, I'm Nari McDiamond from Mining Journal, and today I'm speaking with Fraser Taviet, the Managing Director of US-focused explorer Polar X. Now, Fraser, you've just returned from overseeing exploration at your high-grade copper project in Alaska and your new precious metals project in Nevada. So if we begin in Alaska, where you've already got a high-grade 6 million tonne resource, uh, can you outline the developments there? Yeah, so as you said, we've got um, 6 million tonnes spread between two deposits. So we have the the Caribou Dome, which is a high grade, uh, massive sulphide deposit, um, which contains about 3 million tonnes at 3% copper. And then Zachley, which is a SCARN deposit, which has uh, 3.4 million tonnes at uh, two grams per tonne gold, 1.2% copper. Uh, the focus of this year's work was uh, at Caribou Dome. And we set, uh, set ourselves two goals there. The first one was to uh, drill test uh, some new targets that we developed. Uh, and those targets uh, had combined uh, grand geophysical anomalies and geochemical anomalies, um, and they looked very similar to the known mineralization. So we, uh, we drill tested those. Um, in addition to those, we also drilled uh, four holes targeting the known massive sulphide mineralization. Uh, and the reason for doing that was to provide sample for subsequent metallurgical test work uh, that will then feed into a scoping study that we've currently got underway. Uh, and that's evaluating a, a combined operation uh, or potential combined operation between Zachley and Caribou Dome, looking at processing options, how we might be able to combine those um, and, and mining options. So a, a classic sort of scoping study to work out, yeah, is what we've already got economic uh, or do we need to find more? Um, yeah, so the results have been really good. We've just announced today uh, a, a new discovery of a new style of mineralization. So the, the exploration drilling that we did is actually um, encountered uh, a new style for us, which is native copper uh, disseminated throughout a series of, of ancient lava flows. So this is a new one for us, um, but it's not unknown in, uh, in North America. And there are in fact uh, a number of um, high grade mines that were worked um, in Michigan in, uh, in the United States uh, through until the 1990s. So, so it is a known deposit type. Um, it's a new area for us, it has huge upside uh, and something we're obviously keen to uh, you know, further evaluate as we move that project forward. Well, if we turn now to Nevada, Fraser, and your recently acquired project where you've recently reported some high grade rock chip samples of about 500 grams per tonne gold and 1000 grams per tonne silver and some large scale anomalies, um, you've just been on site. Can you tell me what are your first impressions and what's planned there for the coming months? Yeah, well, my first impression was, wow, what a great project. I mean, it's um, it's fantastic country. Uh, the rocks are cropping out of the ground. Um, as you said, some really high grade, uh, both gold and silver veins from historical workings and, and still there, but, but in some cases haven't been mined. So we've, we've got two claim blocks there. The southern claim block is 4th of July, and that sits within 10 kilometres of the very large Rochester uh, silver mine, which is a huge bulk mining operation, producing about three and a half million ounces a year. Uh, and then our Northern Plain block, uh, Black Canyon sits very close to the existing Florida Canyon mine, which is producing 60, 70,000 ounces of gold a year. So we're in known mining territory, both in terms of modern bulk mine, you know, bulk scale mining, uh, but also those historical high grade veins. What we've done is we're the first group that's ever really gone in and done systematic soil sampling, um, which we've, we completed a few months ago. So, you know, my role in the last few weeks when I was over there was to go and visit all those anomalies and put some context around them. Uh, and I think we've been able to do that very successfully. So we've seen that we have areas where we've got widespread, uh, both gold and silver anomalies in those soils. Um, they're associated with outcropping veins and in many cases also areas where there's extensive alteration around the veins. So certainly uh, potential targets for a bulk mining proposition. So we're going back, we've identified two uh, key areas in the, in the northern part of Black Canyon where further infill, uh, I think would help refine our drill targets. Uh, we've already got our drill targets defined in the 4th of July claims. So we've got a team going back in, uh, in a few weeks time. Uh, they'll put a four week program in just to infill on those two key areas uh, up in Black Canyon. Um, and then we'll have drill targets ready uh, to get in the permitting process and, and kick that off as soon as we possibly can. Well, finally, Fraser, if we look a little further ahead, what potential share price catalysts should investors be watching out for? Yeah, I guess we've got a lot of news slow coming up in the next few months. So we've, we've still obviously got assays to come out of the, uh, the drill program in, um, in Alaska. So firstly, uh, the, the drill assays from the metallurgical test work, which we know we'll get some really good grades from. 
Um, and obviously this uh, new native copper discovery, we're eagerly anticipating those results. Uh, I'd expect to have those, uh, the first set uh, sometime uh, later this month, um, and then the, uh, the other assay sometime in November. Um, then we've got the, uh, the work program that'll kick off in late October um, in Nevada, and we'll have results from that uh, sometime in late November through to December. Um, that'll obviously then uh, flow into um, you know, drill targets. We'll be able to announce to, them, to the market and get that underway early next year. Uh, and then finally, and I mentioned this earlier, you know, we've got a scoping study underway uh, looking at a combined Zachley and Caribou operation, potential operation, I should say. Um, and we expect to have that completed, um, I think completed internally sometime in January. Uh, we need a little bit of time to uh, think that through um, and understand uh, you know, the outcomes of that, but certainly uh, look forward to uh, announcing those key results to the market, uh, I guess probably just uh, sometime after the uh, Australia Day holiday. A lot on the horizon. Well, Fraser, thank you very much for the update today. Always good.